If you're unfamiliar, Penny Blood is an upcoming JRPG that was successfully funded via Kickstarter back in 2022. It is a spiritual successor to Shadow Hearts, which is one of my favourite JRPG series of all time. Penny Blood is currently being developed by many of the core Shadow Hearts staff. This includes series creator Mitsuzo Mishida, along with character designer Miyako Kato and Yoshitaka Hirota as the game's composer. We don't have too much info yet, but the trailer does look absolutely badass and has some serious Shadow Hearts vibes. Anyway, to help promote this game, a roguelike spin-off is being created by Studio Wild Rose and Natsume Atari, who are actually the ones who developed Aiden Chronicle Rising a spin-off to another upcoming Kickstarter funded game. Penny Blood Hellbound acts as a prequel to Penny Blood and focuses on the game's antagonists. At this point, the game is in closed beta, with early access being released in February and the complete official release next summer. I recently played through everything that the closed beta had to offer, which was a good 10 hours of gameplay, and I've got to say, I am hooked and want more. If you want to support the game and the main Penny Blood title, I would recommend giving this game a shot. After all, buying it now will include the final version when it's released next year. I'm also giving a code for the game away over on my Twitter, so check that out if you want to enter. There's a link in the description below. I would love to know what you think about Penny Blood Hellbound or Shadow Hearts in general, so let me know in the comments below. And a big thank you goes to the publishers for a game code as well as providing another code to give to you in the giveaway. Alright, let's get into it. Penny Blood Hellbound has a really great aesthetic. It's colourful and it's bloody, with some great character designs and some catchy jazz tunes reflecting the 1920s. Just keep in mind that this is a closed beta, meaning it's still a work in progress. I mean, the words work in progress is literally printed across a couple of the incomplete characters. But with that said, we still get a really good intro to the story, as well as a decent amount of quality content. We get the first two stages of the game, and the gameplay already feels really good. I've played betas that are a complete mess, but Hellbound Penny Blood is absolutely at a stage where you can have a lot of fun. And if you take a look at this roadmap, there is going to be a lot more added to the game. Not only new playable areas, but also voice acting, more enemies, and loads of additional features. So, what is Penny Blood Hellbound all about? The game is set prior to the events of Penny Blood and features the Hellhounders, who will act as the main game's antagonists. The Hellhounders are an international terrorist organization that aims to bring peace to the world by eliminating the injustices born from World War I, such as the corrupt powers that run the world. Now, these Hellhounders are much more powerful than most, as they gain their strength by infusing malice into their bodies. I really love that this spin-off focuses on the eventual bad guys of the main game. We get to learn a bit about them too, and from what I've seen so far, they are absolute psychopaths. Salty Cova, for instance, is a sadist from the 1700s who has been brought back to life. She is an absolute bitch, but she's also pregnant and lives only to feed the life in her womb with as much evil malice as possible. While the Hellhounders make up the main characters, you actually play the role of Clara, who awakened in an otherworldly space known as Mitlan. This place was created by a secret society as a prison for the world's most evil people. Clara has lost her memories, but soon discovers that she can manipulate malice at will. The main story so far involves Clara and the Hellhounders trying to escape Mitlan so they can return to the real world and, you know, do more terrorist stuff. Hellbound is a roguelike, and this genre perfectly ties into the game's story. You see, in order to escape, your party will need to travel through the five areas and defeat each of the bosses in a single run without dying. The thing about this prison is that when you die, you'll soon be revived, meaning that its prisoners are forced to spend eternity repenting, well, until they can shed their evil from their hearts. This, of course, means that you'll be going on a lot of runs and dying many, many times in the process. This involves working through a board game style map, with each section usually having a battle with the skill rewarded to you at the end. There's no one best way to proceed to the boss, it will entirely depend on your needs at the time. The combat is a lot of fun. At the start of each run, you choose two characters to take along and can switch between them on the fly, so long as they're alive. The four available characters in the beta all play very differently, and this is great to help keep each run feeling fresh. In battle, you have basic melee or ranged attacks and both active and passive skills that you can obtain, then upgrade as you progress on the run. These are always random, meaning that your battle capabilities will be different each time that you play. 
One thing that sets Hellbound aside from other games is the use of blood. As you smack your foes, the blood will splatter around the battlefield and this can be used to perform the blood surfing attack. This not only deals some really good damage, but also allows you to get around the battlefield really quickly, so strategically splattering blood around the place will be very advantageous. At the end of each stage, you'll face off against a major boss which has multiple forms. These battles can be very challenging and you constantly need to be dodging AoE attacks and finding the right openings else you'll be sent straight back to the HQ. Overall, the combat feels good and I'm looking forward to seeing more enemy variety and additional stages in the later versions of the game. As you progress, recruit characters and complete other objectives, new features will gradually unlock in your headquarters. Something that I didn't really like is that several features are unlocked after dying, meaning that you'll need to go on several runs to unlock these basic mechanics. This made starting the game feel very slow and it's something that I really hope they iron out in the later versions. But once things are unlocked, you'll find that there is a lot that can be done to give you the edge in combat. This includes basic stat increases, weapon upgrades, accessories and skill slot enhancements just to name a few. Even though I died many times, I always felt that it was worthwhile and I looked forward to unlocking my next upgrade to prepare for my next run. While still far from being complete, Penny Blood Hellbound is shaping up very nicely. I had a blast playing this closed beta and will be following the game's development very closely up until its final release. If you want to support the main Penny Blood game, buying into this closed beta early is one way that you can do it. I'm also giving away a key for the game over on my Twitter, so if you're interested, jump on over there and enter. I'll post a link to this giveaway in the comments below. What are your thoughts of this game? Do if you like what you see, let me know in the comments below. This was Hellfire RPGs, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, hit that like button and sub for more JRPG and Penny Blood content coming soon. See you next time.